Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. I'm so happy that you're here today. Today we're going to be doing a yarn acquisition video. I'm going to be showing you the yarns that I bought uh, at the uh, through part of January and some of February. Um, and uh, there are a few things to show here. Uh, so why don't you grab something to drink, sit down, spend some time with me, and look at some beautiful, lovely yarns. So the first item I have to show you, it's actually something I bought uh, back in January, into January. Um, but uh, I bought this from uh, someone who lives in Germany, so it took a little bit of time to get here to the States. This is, I'm talking about uh, Reggie J. Hook Crochet. She has a yarn club that she started this year, and this is her Wacky Holiday Yarn Club from January 2022. This is called fruit cake toss day and it's hand dyed yarn yarn of the month it came in this box um, now all of the shops I talk about um, I will link in the description box below so I'll have put a link to Reggie's um, Etsy shop oh wow there's a lot of stuff in here there are some pamphlets in here about um, the Wacky Yarn Club. Okay, this is the January Fruit Cake Toss Day. This box includes, here we go, it's hand dyed yarn by Dye Woolwichel. It's 100 grams. Let me show you what it is while I read it. This is the yarn. Isn't that beautiful? Love the gold and the black. Uh, here, let me take the label off so you can see it. This is, look at that. All right, so this is hand dyed yarn. This is 100 grams, 75% wool, 25% polyamide, fingering weight, non superwash. It there. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, how cool! I should have opened this a lot sooner. Uh, so that's that's the uh, yarn. Here's the label. Wool with chol. How cute is that? Uh, also in this box, probably should just showed you these as I open it like this. Uh, there's a fruit cake sticker set by Jellyfish Stickers. These these stickers here. How cute is that? All types of fruits. Um, this is by Jellyfish Stickers. Uh, two sheets of painted stickers produced in an eco-friendly way and plastic free. Uh, then there's Fruity Lip Balm, this, and this is uh, by Sarland Selfen, Handmade, Natural, Organic, and Vegan. Vegan. Then there is Fruity Jam by Bon Maiman, Hand Homemade Jams, made with love out of the best ingredients. Uh, it's either one out of poss four possible flavors, all different kinds of berries. Yum. Then there's two pattern booklets here, which, um, here we go. Oh, how nice. These two pattern booklets here, um, this is by, these are designed by Reggie. One is a, a, the Olympus Shawlette, which is a crochet shawl, looks like that. And the other one is a knit Shawlette by uh, Reggie. And this is called the Olympus Shawlette, which looks like that. So you get a knit and a crochet pattern booklet from Reggie. How nice is that to use with the yarn? This is really nice. Um, and here's some more information on some of the stuff. And then, I'm not sure what this is. It didn't have it on the list. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yes, it is. Um, and the J-Hook Crochet Wristband. Perfect for you to practice your cake toss skills. And there you go. Little wristband. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's what was included in this uh, Wacky Holiday Yarn Club box. And um, 
I love all of this. Look at, especially, of course, the yarn I'm drawn to. That's just really beautiful. It looks like maybe there might be some um, brown in there as well. So yellow, black, and brown. It's so nice. So pretty. So there we go. That was the first item that I got. Thank you so much, Reggie, for putting this together. What a nice, nice box of uh, things to get. And I'm excited. I'll have to check out. I'm, I'm more um, drawn to the uh, knit stuff, but I really do like the look of this crochet shawl as well. They both are beautiful. Not sure which one I'll do, so we'll just have to watch my channel, see which one I do. But thank you so much. What a lovely, lovely package. Again, that's Reggie J. Hook Crochet. I'll link her down in the uh, description box below, and I know she's going to be doing these yarn boxes throughout the year. So uh, if you uh, want to check one out, please do. Um, the next item I have to share with you guys is just some yarn I got from Lion Brand. I had this in my stash already, and I just got some. Uh, this is Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. I just got three skeins. Uh, it's 100% cotton, uh, worsted weight. Uh, I think I got it on off their site on sale, lionbrand.com. And this is just the 24-7 cotton in succulent. This is the color succulent. And I just got three skeins. This is... Um, Let's see, I think 185 yards a skein, 186 yards per skein. So that's the color succulent. I had, like I said, I had some of this in my stash and I needed just like three more skeins to have enough to make a top that I wanna make. So I got those three skeins. Um, the next item that I have to show you guys is from Jimmy Beans Wool. Um, I'm a, I got some um, Malabrigo lace. Um, I have this in my stash. These, these are all Malabrigo lace, which a Malabrigo lace is, um, this is 100% baby merino wool. It's These are 470 yard skeins, 50 grams, uh, made in Peru. And um, this is the color English Rose. I had some of this in my stash already and I wanted to add this to what I had in my stash. Um, then I got this color. Uh, this is color. This is again Malabrigo lace, and this is called Polar Morn. And then this color. There's two of these. This color is called. Oh no, there's two Polar Morns. That's that. It's kind of a blue gray. And then I got this color, which I thought was gray, but it's purpley. A gray. This is again lace weight yarn, 470 yards, 50 grams, 100% um, baby merino wool, Malabrigo lace. The colorway is called Zinc 613 Zinc. Um, then the last color I got, I got. Um, I think I got five skeins of this. Ooh, not easy to open. Grab some scissors here. Hold on a second. I want you guys to be able to see at least one of these. This is the same yarn, Malabrigo Lace. And I did get one, two, yeah, I got five skeins of this color. And this color is, um, here's the color. Isn't that pretty, that blue? Now this is, um, again, Baby Merino Lace. This color is Buscando Azul, 186. And five skeins of that. So I got five skeins of it. So, um, and that's all I got from Jimmy Bean's Wool. I'm going to try, I have a project, upcoming project that I want to use some of these lace weight yarns for. And this was pretty affordable Malabrigo lace. Malab any Malabrigo yarns are pretty affordable yarns considering that they're merino wools um, and hand dyed. So um, I think these were $9.50 a skein, which is, again, pretty affordable for a whole skein of lace weight yarn. All right, so let me, one second. Yeah, all of those yarns I just showed you, those late lace weight yarns were un, uh, under $90. So that's a really good deal, I'm on. 
you know, all those lace yarns. All right. Um, one second. The next item I want to show you guys is some yarn I got off of uh, an Etsy store. This is uh, for my Bloomsbury crochet top. I had already started doing the um, doing the uh, swatch. I had one skein. I ordered four more skeins of this to make sure I had enough yarn. This is from an, the Etsy store Lichen and Lace. Uh, this color is called Pressed Flowers. As you can see, it's a, a, a beige base with all these little pops of colors in it. And I got four of these skeins. Here, maybe I can show you without. Here's what one looks like without the um, the label on it. You can see some yellows and pinks and blues in there. I'm excited to do this for that crochet top. And also they included um, a project keeper, um, really nice project keeper there in as well in the um, in the bag. Super nice little surprise there. Um, so I'm excited about getting, I've been waiting on uh, getting started on that top for this yarn. So I'm excited to get that, get it wound and uh, work on that. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. All right, the next item I have to show you guys is from another Etsy store. Now, this is the same store that I bought my Advent set in from that I showed you guys in December. This is Swoon Fibers. They are out of uh, Rochester, um, New York. And this is their... I can't remember what I bought. Uh, this is their uh, Happy Memories 100 gram Peyton Sock Yarn. And this yarn is 463 yards and it's peach violet sky pink gold blue. And uh, let's see, Peyton Socks 100 grams, 463 yards, 75% superwash merino, 25% uh, nylon. And the color again is Happy Memories. And that, these are what the skeins look like. And I got this in hopes to make some sort of a top, some sort of sweater. Again, I'm trying to do more wearables this year. So I'm look, that's why I've been looking for sweater quantities of yarn. I think I have a picture of this knitted up. I'll try to insert that. Looks really cute knitted up. It's so colorful and everything. But that's what that looks like. That again is Swoon Fibers out of Rochester, New York. And then she also included this cute little bag with some uh, colorful buttons in there, which is really nice. Nice little extra surprise present. Um, with, with as a segue, um, with these yarns, you guys know I bought the Advent set. I'll insert a picture of the Advent set I bought. I shared that with you guys in December. Um, I found the pattern I think I want to make with my Advent set. It is called Swept Along. Uh, give me one second. Uh, it's called the Swept Along Shawl, and it's uh, written by Tammy Gore. Um, I'll insert a picture of that here. Um, to go along with, I needed a dark, or I needed another solid color to go along with that. Um, kind of, that would be in place of where the teal is, and that's that uh, steel picture I just showed you of the shawl. Um, I wasn't sure yet which one I'm going to use, but I got these two skeins from Amanda Hope. This is Amanda Hope's yarn. This is um, her um, Aussie Extra Fine Merino yarn, uh, fingering weight, four-ply superwash merino wool, which I've used. I use this for my Stephen West shawl. I'm using it right now for my As You Wish and Inconceivable MCAL shawl. Um, but this is, the pink is Loganberry, dark purple. And this is called the Tealiest. I've used this color before in my um, Stephen West shawlography. So pretty. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use with those those ske mini skeins yet. Um, but uh, she really is so sweet. She threw in some extra stuff in here, like some tea in there, and I uh, just love these. I, again, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, 
Loganberry and the Tea Leist Fingering Weight Yarns from Amanda Hope. Um, also from Amanda Hope, part of that swept along shawl. The, there, um, she sells a, a the, the neutral mini skeins you can use to make that. Just love them. I couldn't pass them up. These are the neutral mini skeins that you need to make the swept along shawl. Look how beautiful those are. Can you see the different colors in there? Just so pretty. So I bought them. I'm not sure that I'm going. I'm going to what I'm going to use them for yet. Maybe I won't use the minis for, that I have from Christmas, and maybe I'll use these in the swept along shawl. These were designed for the swept along shawl. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really. I guess I haven't really decided yet. It looks like she threw in some project keepers in here. Um, looks like some. Looks like they're little hummingbirds. Aren't those cute? So cute. So that's from Amanda Hope. This is the same yarn base. It's the, um, well, no, it's not. This is the um, Superwash Merino Wool with Nylon. So it's 85, 15% uh, 15, 15 nylon, 85% um, Superwash Merino Wool. And these are just some really beautiful neutral mini skeins, aren't they? Okay, so that's all I got from Amanda Hope Yarns. Um, the next item that uh, I bought, I was actually really surprised about this. You guys know I want to do wearables. I have some of this yarn in my stash already, like four or five skeins, which really wasn't enough to do a top. So I wanted to find some more of this yarn. I went looking and I found some in some, in some yarn stores here in the United States. But I also found some in this one yarn store. This yarn store is called 123 Knit. They're out of Denmark. And... I bought from them, even though I live in the United States and everything. However, it was cheaper for me to buy yarn from them in Denmark and have it shipped here to the United States than it was for me to buy the yarn here in the United States and have it shipped from the United States. Go figure. A lot. I mean, significantly cheaper. So, I got this from 123 Knit. I'll put a link to their shop. This is a Katia yarn. It's 100% linen. 100% linen. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about this? I think this is fingering weight. Uh, this color is 16, like a, a royal, dark royal blue um, or navy. It's color 16. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six more skeins just to make sure I have enough to make a top I want to make. But I already had some in my stash, so I'm excited. I found this at a really good price. So if you're thinking about um, checking, you know, check them out. These are 50 gram skeins. Let's see how much yardage is on each one of these. It's 50 grams, 164 yards per skein. And again, I paid uh, less than $100 for this, including shipping from Denmark to the United States. Whereas if I bought this in the United States, I think they were like $10 or so more a skein at the stores I were seeing in the United States. So, anyway, sometimes it doesn't hurt to shop around a little bit more and look around a little bit more. Um, I think... Oh, here we go. I have two more items to share with you. The next item I have to share with you is a yarn that I found... Um, in a Ravelry stash. Now, if you want to watch my last live, I showed you guys how I look for yarns in Ravelry stash. I have a few skeins of this in my stash already. I want to make this uh, beautiful jacket. I'll put a picture of it here. It's called the Whispering Leaves Jacket by Sweater Babe. I've always wanted to make this. This is probably isn't the perfect yarn for it, but I do like this. This is Patton's Lace yarn with sequins. As you can see, there are the lace yarn has sequins already on it. Uh, this yarn is, let's see, fine number two. This color is called amber, and this is um, machine washable, which is lovely. It looks like mohair, but it's not. It's mostly acrylic. Um, this is 314 meters, 304, 344 yards. The breakdown of this is 68% acrylic, 14% polyester, 9% mohair, 9% wool. It's a 70 gram skein from Patton's. And so I got 
five of these from a lady in Ravelry, de-stashing them. And I think I have one in my stash. So I'm going to use this to make uh, that jacket, I hope. And I think they're just really pretty uh, and nice and expensive yarn that you can machine wash. The blocking might be a little bit tricky on that, but um, you can block acrylic. Okay, the last item I have to share with you is from one of my favorite dyers. This is uh, Emily from Turtle Pearl Yarns. Um, you guys know I love her yarns. I've given away a ton of her yarns. Um, she has a couple of new uh, colorways on her website. That's in Etsy. I'll link it below. The first one is called Wonder Woman. Look at this. This is so pretty. Now her yarns are separated. So you have, um, you have the, uh, you know, one for each sock. And then you can get a you can get a mini skein with it, or you cannot. I, I always I'll usually try to get the mini skein just to give it more flexibility. But this is seventy five percent superwash merino, twenty five percent nylon, four ply, four hundred and fifty yards for a hundred grams. These are dyed to stripe um, the same way. They're dyed together. Now this is what it looks like knitted up. This is called Wonder Woman. I love it. That's how it's going to knit up with the red, blue. Um, and red, white, and blue, and gold. And this is the mini skein. Now, I did get two of these, so I will be giving one of these away sometime on my channel. I haven't decided exactly yet, but I did buy one to give away because I love the Wonder Woman. So, um, the others, I did get another new color of hers, uh, and this is it. This is Self Striping Turtle Toes. This is the colorway. This is called Tangled Love. Um, and it's pretty. It's got pinks and creams and purples and dark pink. And this is what it'll knit up like. Uh, the same base as, uh, same yarn base, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 4 ply, 450 yards, 100 grams. And then this is the mini skein that comes with it, that hot pink. So, that's the last item. That's all of the yarns that I've gotten over the last month. Um... I hope that you like these. Thank you for letting me share them with you. If there's anything that you really like, let me know down in the description box below. Um, you know, you never know. I might change my mind. Some of these might end up in some giveaways. I do know I'm going to be giving away one of these. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care.